Lauren is a very energetic girl and I met her in grade 8 and uh, yeah she's always just been very generous and she's been kind of like the star of our group of friends. Um, always trying to be the best in whatever she does in terms of like you know making a difference and yeah she's always been there for all of us and she's always been a really great person. Lauren Guelas, Miss Barrow Well Planning Investors Group, Choir Rock. I decided to join Miss BC because, first of all, I've always wondered how to be, how it would be like to join a pageant. Um, as a Filipino, we were all fans of pageants and um, glamour. But um, in my case, um, I heard about Miss BC and how genuine it is, how open it is to everyone. And to me, as a beginner, I thought, why not give it a try and see where it takes me. White Rock, Lauren Guelos. Lauren, you are Miss BC 2016. As a pageant, um, each girl has to represent their platform. And mine was to break the stigma that revolved around mental illness, and as well as to encourage youth to balance out their passion and education. Inspiration for many, many women. I chose mental illness because I have experienced it myself, how to be really down and have you know no one to talk to. Um, a best friend of mine as well has influenced me in this sense. Um, she suffered in depression, and I was only there to listen and it helped and I think that if the world has more listeners, it can make it a better place and it can change lives, it can save a life. It is a very hard thing to first understand and grasp, especially when you're younger. And we kind of just helped each other through it, um, talking about our emotions, even when it's very messy to talk about, even when it's very pressuring for other people to hear about it. And we both grew up in families where it was more difficult to bring up these kind of things because um, in our, I guess in our culture, like it's always striving to be the best that we can and you know, to support our family and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd always tell Goran, you know, it's, it's okay to talk about these feelings and get it out of the way so you can be the best that you can be. I don't think Sophie has candy canes, so this is perfect. There's a lot of great things that happen through Miss BC. I, I've always wanted to reach out to my community, especially back home in the Philippines. And to this, I was able to organize fundraising events and, you know, um, volunteer in organizations that I didn't really know how to get in touch with as a as as Glorin and not as Ms. BC. So having the title really opened a lot of opportunities. And recently I just um, had a fundraising event. It's for my hometown. Um, it's for the kids that I've seen back home before I left Philippines. And I've always said, moving to Canada, I will do anything just to give to give back to these kids. And if how in however way I can achieve it, I will have to do it. So what I'll be sending is um, school supplies, um, pencils, erasers, um, coloring pens, coloring crayons, um, you know, notebooks, all that. And we're also going to be giving a feeding program. So with the feeding program, we will have a nutritious meal for them and a treat. It's rare to have ice cream and it's such a hot place. Um, I bought chocolates too. I know it's not nutritious, but like I said, it would make them so happy just to have a chocolate bar. Having a new pencil is amazing. I, it's indescribable. They will use until it's the very last piece of wood for a pencil. They will use until it's the very last drop of ink for a ball pen. And they have school requirements for school supplies and they can't afford it because rice is number one, food is number one. So school supplies because I want these kids to be motivated. I want them to say, sweet, I have a new pen. I'm going to write in my notebook. I'm going to do my homework. I can do this. Miss BC gave this to me. I'm just really proud of her because we've been, like she's been telling me about this since we were in what, grade nine, maybe grade eight. And she's always been talking about how she wants to go back and make a difference in her community. And she's always had it in her heart to bring something back to the Philippines with her. Um, it's her homeland, right? So obviously she wants to make a difference there. It's a privilege to be in this country. It's easy to buy food. It's hard in the Philippines to buy food. It's, it will cost you a fortune to 
to buy food. Rice, it costs so much. We're fortunate to have a dollar store here that it's just a dollar. We can buy anything for a dollar. Moving here is a blessing. I will use it and I will make sure that I give back to my home and then whatever it takes me, but that's my number one. <laughs>